okay so this is my first video for this class um, in this tutorial I'm gonna show how I install daemon tools this is a DVD drive emulator um, we're gonna use this to install Windows 7 Windows Server 2008 Windows Vista and Windows XP um, and we're gonna use virtual box to do so um, alright so let's get started I'm gonna download the daemon tools right now normally I use um, download.com you can find a lot of software on the site so let's go ahead and search for daemon tools alright just gonna download this alright go daemon tools light I actually don't use daemon tools I have power ISO set up on my system um, that's another DVD emulator. I rather use that, but I don't feel to uninstall it <laughs> just for the tutorial. So I'll just install Daemon Tools. Show you how to install that. Install Daemon Tools now. Checking the setup. Um, click next. English. Agree. Free license. We don't pay for anything. Even if we need a CD key, we'll find that online somewhere. Um, special offers, decline all that for sure. Skip. Um, don't allow. Next. Alright, install. Um, by the way, I'm gonna leave a link to all the stuff that I downloaded and stuff in the description below all right all right let's run this all right so Ooh. okay so here we go um i got some hardware wasn't reading it to close off the stuff um yeah so right here we can add image files or whatever this is setting up um i don't want to do that right now i already have power iso so i'll open up that and show you how to use from there but this is just a show the installation of daemon tools all right Alright, so I have to delete that bloatware. Um, you need to read your stuff before you install. I was installing it quickly there just for the video, but yeah. Um, by the way, I'm using Camtasia Studio 7 to record this right now. Okay, so let me show you all Power ISO. Um, here it is, continue and understood. Um, with Power ISO, you can mount um, images to your drives. You can set how many drives you want. As you can see here, we have up to 23 we can set. Um, I already have an image mounted right here. This Windows Silver 2008 actually. And yeah, that's 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 it. You mount, you mount it and it comes up as a regular drive on your computer. So right here you could see it. Alright. Alright, so now we're going to search for some ISO files. Right. Um, I'll just look for... Windows Vista. Um, you could use a couple sites: Torrent Reactor, ISO Hunt, Pirate Bay. Um, I'll leave the links below in the description, so you could go to that. But um, yeah, the, those are just some of the sites that I use to find some of my torrents. Uh, let's close this. Yeah. So we're looking for Windows Vista. There we go. Alright, you wanna find one with a lot of leeches. With a lot of seeds, sorry. Um I just click on this one for now. See what it has in it. There 
Okay, so let's download the torrent. You don't want to download directly. And you're going to need BitTorrent or another torrent manager to download the files. You can't just download it directly. Well, I think you can, but I never tried that before. That's a new thing. Um, since I've been downloading torrents, I always use one of these. So I have my tor BitTorrent here. I'll just go into downloads and start it up. Show you how it started. So it's back to yeah. These are the ISO files here, and click OK. All right. Um. Also, well, while that is downloading, we're gonna need VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox to install these um, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008, Windows XP, Windows Vista, we're gonna need VirtualBox to, to use these things so um, just go to their, their website virtualbox.com.org sorry and download the one for Windows, I'm using Windows 7 if you have um, Apple Linux whatever you just click on whichever one suits your system um, and that's downloading by the time I'll just pause the video until the last finishes and we'll restart and I'll show you the install okay so VirtualBox finished downloading let's just install this quickly and this will be the last part of the video So here we go next. Keep all the original settings. I don't want a quick launch, just leave it on your desktop. Install now, yes. That won't bore you through the whole install. Okay, it's actually installing quick. Alright, so let's start up Oracle VirtualBox. Alright. And there you have it. Here's where we, we are going to install the operating systems. But this will be in the next video. Thanks for watching.